Ahoy, let's watchers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. In the last two episodes, I've managed to faint as many times as I had previously the entire game. So I've got that going for me. Uh, I also, you know, took on this unnecessary quest in order to appease some random stranger I just met. Let's see how that's going. Alright. Wow. Remarkably not well. Right. Now, I was just trying to get that one shot off on him, and apparently that's all I needed to kill him. Somehow that's even more frustrating. So, yeah, let's go... I think we're on the path to the fort, which is, like, the cool part of Morningwood. However, I have no idea if this is where I'm actually going to find that thing I'm looking for. Huh. So you guys still haven't dealt with this whole zombie infestation thing, huh? Wow, this is... this is horrific. Okay, so it's now time for me to use the fast travel to go away from here, because <laughs> I don't like it anymore. Let's just go to the palace. Nope, not Bowerstone Industrial. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, Bowerstone Castle. And we're going to go here. And we're going to stop ignoring the plot for a little while. Yes, that's cool. The glowing trail and the zombies that are no longer killing me. Holy shit, that was a lot of zombies. You saw that, right? I'm recording this so that you can verify the number of zombies. This, that's been my ploy all along. I just wanted you to see how many zombies there would be just then, because holy shit, it was a lot of them. Oh, good. It's, it's more beautiful than I dared to imagine. Oh, good. He's... And heavy, too. Our experts estimate it's worth a small fortune. Oh, good. I was hoping it would be worth a small fortune. Of course. Fortune. Now the question becomes, what do you wish to do with this fine stone? Shall I deposit the money from the sale into the treasury? Or perhaps you would prefer the funds were channeled into, let us say, a more personal account? Why in the wide world would I want to keep this money for myself? I'm literally a earning money for myself so that act. I can put it in the I treasury. I am constantly in awe of your generous and noble spirit. Putting the safety of your people before your own reward. Bravo, The money's not majesty. worth anything other than trying Bravo. to save the stupid kingdom. That's not even a decision. Alright, time for a new set of arbitrary tasks. Oh, hey, cool, and I got some guild seals. Remember when this game actually gave me guild seals? Very exciting. wonder what tomorrow has in store for me, and by tomorrow I mean, like, ten seconds from now. That was weird. It, like, went into... Oh, that was weird. I don't like it. The treasury's health is robust, but we must always be wary of unnecessary expenditures and watch out for possible avenues of profit. With that in mind, I would like to discuss the thorny issue of child benefits, which were abolished under your brother's rule. There are vocal elements within the community who are clamoring for us to bring it back. In the interests of the treasury, and of the long-term welfare of the people, I have a counter-proposal. It's somewhat radical, but rather brilliant, if you don't mind me saying. We charge people for every child they have. Oh, good, a child this would tax. keep the population low, but more importantly, the treasury high. Is it really fair to bring new life into such an uncertain world? And won't that gold go to help the children who have already been born? Of course, you may also choose to keep Logan's policies. The matter is entirely in your hands. sort of missed the part where he was talking about what the child benefits actually are because I was busy trying to transfer money into the treasury. I love how, like, this game is just relentless and, like, just trying to give me freaking information. Um, just put some money in the thing. Here you go. Very well, Your Majesty. 
The breeders amongst the rabble will be ecstatic, I'm sure. Perhaps you are considering making a personal donation to the treasury to make up for the shortfall. It is entirely your decision, as always. Ugh, this guy is the Shall worst. I hate him with the rest so much. Of your appointments? Here is the royal agenda for the day. I hate him so much that I wish I could shoot flaming swords at him. Uh, this game really jumps ahead. Wasn't it like 300 some days until the attack yesterday, and now it's 294? That's cool. Let's see, consider a proposal to renovate Bowerstone Shelter and Orphanage. Ugh, this game is horrific. Consider a proposal how to deal with excess sewage in Bowerstone Industrial. Meet with Paige. Why? Why is it always Paige? Why do I always have to talk to her? Those latest proposals are both scandalous and delicious. It should be most entertaining. Seriously, Paige is the person I least want to talk to in this whole game, and yet, other than Reaver, like... She's the person who has the most time to harass me with things I don't care about. Good. Awaiting your command, my lord. Like, how come Sabine never comes to visit? I'm gonna develop a complex. All stand to attention for the King of Albion. Ah, uh, yes, my enlightened <laughs> throne room. This hearing concerns the future of the Bowerstone Shelter and Orphanage. Paige will speak for the disenfranchised people of the city. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. Your Majesty, the shelter has long been the only refuge for the homeless, the poor, and the orphaned. I can already see at the bottom of the screen the the Reaver's better, proposal. It will continue to be their it's, only it's hope pretty of survival. Terrible. Isn't it time we held out a helping hand to those who need it most? The shelter is underfunded and the building has fallen into disrepair. Invest in the shelter and orphanage, and perhaps we can begin to create a better future for Albion's forgotten people. I could not agree more. The city and its people are in dire need. But it is not charity they require. It is love. I propose we use this dilapidated building to help both them and ourselves, for love and money have always gone hand in hand. Let us inaugurate Bowerstone's first brothel. A brothel? A brothel, bordello, whorehouse. The name is unimportant. <laughs> what matters is that the people get the love they need, and we get their money. Yes, it's for your majesty to decide. Refurnish the shelter and orphanage, or convert it into a house of ill repute. See, this one's really tough, because, like, the it, it's one of the more extreme ones. Obviously, morally, this is, like, imbecilic. Do you not want to boast of a more stupid. progressive society? Like, your choice is literally, let like, be open about it create a, a house of and ill repute, let us be rich. or save orphans. Like, this game could not be more heavy-handed with this crap. Uh, however, like, Haven't the if you people make it into a brothel, you get, enough. like, a million dollars or something them. stupid Don't from the looks of it. And then, them. like, you pay 50000 to save the orphans. Uh, I'm gonna save the orphans, but then, I think, I offer because I've just saved the, the children twice in one day, enough. whatever the next thing we that Reaver argues, he gets it. I don't care. The whatever it is. It could literally be... Like, reverse your last expense. decision and light the Thank orphans you, on Majesty. fire. He gets it. I just, uh, I don't care. the right thing. As you wish, Your Majesty, the parentless tykes and their destitute friends shall have a palace to call their own. Hey. Are you a beggar? Too lazy to own your own clothes? Or perhaps an orphan? aching for a bowl of gruel, then come to Reva Industries Shelter and Orphanage, where you'll find... See, this is where all the people who work in his factory come to live. Have. It's fine. It's like the no circle of life. No matter you are, we care, even if you don't deserve it. Today, you will deal with a pressing environmental issue. 
the disposal of the city's waste. Riva will offer his proposal. A member of the Morningwood community will stand against him. You may speak. Ugh, the guy from Morningwood is really strange looking. Your Majesty, I'm sure you will have noticed a certain aroma permeating the city of late, even more nauseating than usual. I fear it is not merely the stench of the underprivileged. Firestone <laughs> is beginning oh, to have Reaver. a serious waste disposal issue. We require an inexpensive and efficient solution, and I believe I have hit upon one. Uh, now, currently, part of our waste is being disposed of in the Morningwood Marsh. With very little effort, Reva Industries could redirect all of the Bowerstone sewer system to flow directly into that region. Well, what could As go wrong? You know, it's a Dumping all of the poo into no a small village in a marsh. There could be little discussion as to the logic of this decision. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. Not right at all. We're all children of the soil. It's in our hearts. It's in our blood. It's under our fingernails. What I mean is we're all equal when it comes to dirt, like. From dirt we come to dirt we go, yes? We who reside in mourning would have as good a claim to being clean as anyone. And what of mourning would itself? It's nature spirits, it's woodland elves, and water fairies. Do they not deserve freedom from pollution too? Don't destroy paradise with your urban dregs, man. Like, I've been to Morningwood. I was just at Morningwood. It's full of a horrific life. number of zombies, you terrible these, hippie. Like, factory Therefore, stuff, I'm you? dumping poo on you. Turn one into a also, because of that thing I said, where Reaver gets the next thing. of receiving the city sewage. The king has spoken. The waste from the city of Bowerstone shall be channeled into Morningwood. I shall begin the flushing immediately, <laughs> Your Majesty. Oh, this I is love Reaver's reaction to this everything. Is totally heavy. You've turned. I kind of wish he was my royal bowl. advisor instead of like she Hobson, the see. general okay. sociopath. Like a, a Although, years, if I needed like a fight right back, a general man. of sociopathology, you know, like the surgeon general, yeah, I'd pick him. Well, before I have to go meet with Paige, which sounds terrible, uh, I think I'm going to need a break. Maybe a drink or two. Uh, yeah, I'll see you here next time for what will surely be a shouting match of some horrific kind. Later, guys.